All right, Matt, we're yes. finally here. Co-main event, UFC Monte Video could quite possibly produce a fight of the night or a performance of the night bonus for either fighter here. And you've got Walter Waits, Vincente Luque, and Mike Perry. Matt, you've been really high yeah, on Vincente my Luque. My going to break my own heart. Listen, he's 16, 6, and 1. He's 9, and it's 1 in his last 10 fights. What type of fight do you see him bring to Mike Perry? So Mike one? Perry has always had problems with really technical guys. We saw that that kind of got exposed at least in the Alan Joban fight. I know Alan Joban's kind of fall off in recent times, but at the time he was a really you know highly touted fighter, and he's very technical too. I think behind the jab he throws good kicks, very technical fighter. And Vicente Luque kind of follows in that really high stance, blocks really well, big low kicks too. And I feel like that's going to be a factor in this. Really, fight. really high level Muay Thai. Exactly, and if it does go to the ground, he's got all those really nice front headlocks. He's got Darsh chokes. He's got Anaconda chokes. Like he's phenomenal, kind of no matter where. The fight goes the only thing that really worries me in this fight for luke and i'm not gonna lie to anyone i'm kind of biased for, towards luke i was one of the first people on this hype train and i've been riding it ever since the thing that worries me is he is very hittable we saw that in the brian barbarina fight i mean he got dropped in that fight he didn't look good i mean it was a crazy fight we all enjoyed it but he did get dropped if brian barbarina can drop you mike perry's gonna put your head three rows into the crowd but the good thing for luke is if he can chop with those legs weather that early storm and keep the fight going a little bit later he should be able to get a stoppage himself especially that really nice technical fighting that he does and mike perry's a very hittable guy too that's what i mean this and is going to be fight of the night if neither guy gets knocked and out in the first And Mike Perry's a guy, I mean, he's 2-3 and three in his last five, but he's lost a good lost competition. These are guys like Cowboy, and then he beat Cowboy Brazilian Oliveira, Cowboy. and he fight. has the loss to Santiago Ponzinibbio. And listen, I mean, these are good fighters. He's, he's either going to be a guy that wins by knockout or TKO, and he's a power puncher, if nothing Great else. Chin. Odds have Enchante Luque minus 220. You've got Mike Perry, uh, rather, at a plus 175. And there's a minus 300 line going around right now. This fight doesn't go the distance, Matt. Who are you picking to win? So I think Luke is going to win, but for the odds, I, it's not a terrible idea to pick Perry. So I'll say Perry by TKO just to have something different in there. Okay, and I'm going to be taking Vincente Luque. I think he's going to be able to get it done. It could be on the feet. It could be on the ground. But I'm going to take Luque in the pick -em. Looking forward to our main event prediction. You've got Carmouche and Chevchenko in the rematch, Matt. Let's get into it. 